Gene, uh, Gene S. I'm a guitarist here in New York City. Uh, I have a group called Fractal Attraction, and with me today I have uh, two, the core of the band, uh, Thompson Nealon and Tana Alexa. Thompson and I, yeah, we go back five years, so yeah. this is his third album working with uh, my music and, and uh, really just a, a invaluable part of my band and Tana is that one of the uh, best singers I've ever met. Not that she's just a singer, she's also a musician where she can actually solo on changes, read music, uh, no form, uh, sing instrumentally, so it's a very crucial part of the group and uh, so yeah we're trying to put out some new music and in this group we have uh, on piano John Escrete who is the first time I'm working with him I've had many recommendations to have him play my music, and, and he's just a fabulous, fabulous job. And the drummer that I've been uh, dying to work with over the many years, I finally got a chance to uh, do some gigs and then have him on this record, Clarence Penn. He's a really, really great drummer in New York. This record is really different from the first one. I think that uh, Fractal Attraction, which we recorded and released last year, was uh, more sectional. It was more a larger, almost suite. Every every composition on the record was part of one suite. And now on this record, we have eight individual tunes, all very different, but all emphasizing the same thing in each player, which is soloing. And it's very interesting. And it's. Honor to be a part of that kind of record as a singer. This time around, I wanted to create very small written musical sections of eight pieces. I th think of them more like a, like as a philosophical concept of the music as hymns. I try to put everything uh, spiritual aspect of each music into a very dense small chart, and then again, as she said, I wanted the players to just be able to express themselves at their highest level by you know, soloing on their instruments and telling their story, really. This album gave me a lot more freedom, but also responsibility, to kind of come up with some of my own ideas mm -hmm. using. Right. And it was great working with Clarence to try to get different rhythm section vibes and different and approaches to the material. It was pretty interesting that we had a lot more freedom to kind of put our voices into it as opposed to written parts. The musicians on this record uh, make that spontaneous creation so much easier and so much more fulfilling. Right, I mean, right. you know, playing with a drummer like Clarence, it just Yeah, there's a sense of trust. Happens. Yeah, it there's a sense happens. of trust. Yeah. Well, for all official GNS news and my uh, music and my records and where I'm playing and my group, uh, the best place to go is uh, www.jazzgenemusic.com. Mm -hmm.